first time I came up here was after the snow had melted finally that you could get up there. I hadn't even been up there uh, and I took the first group of people out to the end of Chrome Toilet. Two of them came back and told me, dude, that's not the trail. That's not where we're supposed to go. I felt a little bad in the beginning, but I'm over it now pretty much. They got a uh, the full meal deal, no extra charge. Welcome, thanks for tuning in for an episode of our e-bike destination tour where we will be highlighting communities and trails that are allowing and accepting e-bike access. Come along, let's go for a ride in Oak Ridge, Oregon. Nestled in the foothills of the Willamette National Forest, Oak Ridge is a small town that has featured a lot of changes in economy and looks prepped to see its latest iteration with outdoor recreation and specifically mountain biking taking the lead. From railroad boom town to a bustling logging industry town, Oak Ridge has seen its quiet days in the rear view mirror as more and more mountain bikers are descending on Oak Ridge. Many riders are considering Oak Ridge as the Downeyville of Oregon, seeing tons of potential from their multi-use trail network, the infinite number of shuttle roads, and massive descents the town has to offer. You're getting a reel? I'm getting a reel, bro. I'm the influencer. No, I'm getting a reel. You're not an influencer. Oak Ridge is a special place. It's like perfectly in the middle of all these big cities. So Reno, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, it's a great meeting place for a lot of people. We started Trans Cascadia back in 2015, and that was a, that's a mountain bike race and a nonprofit. And from that spun off Trans Cascadia Excursions, which we do a bunch of guiding and, and, and outfitting here in the Willamette and up and down the Cascade Range. When we came here, we started shuttles, and mountain bike shuttles here are great, but you also need a place to stay and a place to hang out with friends. So we've got this big project. It's it's kind of a big campground that we're creating and we'll have a cafe, we'll have a pavilion, we'll have bocce. Whenever I'm out with my friends, it's kind of about potting up and, and creating your little community base. We're gonna have a dual slalom track built by Kyle Jamison. And we just wanted to create an environment that was fun to hang out at, off the bike and a place that you could get together with friends and family. After the shuttle ride up, you've got about a five to 10 minute climb to get you up to the top of the most famous trail in Oak Ridge called Alpine. And once you get up here, you know that all the fun is ahead. There is a little bit of climbing on the way down, but overall it is a long, long descent with lots of different sections. So grab a snack, let the group get back together. And uh, after that, get your brakes and fingers ready because it's a long ride down. Told you guys this was a long way down. I don't even think this is officially the halfway spot or not, but either way, everyone treats it as the halfway spot because you've got a beautiful overlook, some nice rock that is usually in the shade, and uh, this is the spot where you'll see 10 or more people gathered up, hydrating, eating a snack, and enjoying the view. And that's what we're about to do right now before we finish this down. So over the last century, Oak Ridge has seen a huge change, again, from once being a railroad boom town with the Southern Pacific running through, then seeing a massive boom thanks to the logging industry. However, in the last 20 to 40 years, as logging has faded, outdoor recreation has been battling and scratching its way to the forefront. 
Oak Ridge is a small and sleepy town, and while there have been lots of new places to eat and businesses popping up as riders and visitors have grown in numbers, it is still something that you're gonna to wanna to consider looking at before you plan your time of week to travel. One of those new businesses is the Three-Legged Crane Brewery and Pub, which is a place many riders come for post-ride refreshments and food. I'm John Crane, Oak Ridge, Oregon, uptown. All right, yep. and you are the proprietor of yes. this business? Yeah, me and my wife and my son, so we're all the three legs of the crane. We took over the pub in 19 and then actually purchased it in um, January of 2020. Okay. And are you a mountain biker yourself? I am. Okay. Yep. And uh, as a business owner and someone who's lived in Oak Ridge here for a while, have you seen a change in the town, uh, the number of mountain bike visitors that are coming and, and what does that mean for you as a business owner? Yeah, substantially. Um, so I've actually been up here for about 15 years, so I've seen the pub from day one almost. And it's always had a mountain bike following, but it was more of a best kept secret for the first 10 years or so in the last five years it's become much more of a destination point for people from all over the world like it's not uncommon to sit out front on the patio and hear voices from Switzerland and tons of Canadians come down because it's so close in Germany and New Zealand we have this odd connection with New Zealand where there's a few people that live here that commute back to New Zealand for you know they spend terminal summer kind of thing yeah and, yeah. yeah so it's definitely um, the people that, a lot of the people that live in the area built a lot of the trails. So there's a huge trail system, um, support system up here. And we have like two or three different um, trail building um, teams that come up here and work on things from all over the area. What uh, have been the biggest changes or things you've noticed in the change of, of Oak Ridge and specifically with mountain bike and mountain bike tourism? Oh, like when the mill went away, uh, there was a big shift regarding people, how they viewed mountain biking and the amount of money brought it in town to it. Um, and just trail usage in general, nobody knew thing, anything about mountain biking. Like Alpine Trail was this wide 20, 25 years ago and now it's, I mean, the amount of usage of these trails see is kind of crazy. So, and just with the amount of, it's. It's crazy to see like the real estate market even. It's just there's a lot of people who are really mountain biking brings people that are active and want to have a place to go into town for sure. So So you say it's it's been kind of a boost for the economy. Here. For sure. Yeah. Coming here it was it's all new, cool, fun trails and there's lots of them. It's an awesome place to ride. Um what is your favorite trail here? Can you say that on camera? <laughs> High country stuff, super amazing in the fall. In the spring, you get flowers depending on what meadows you go on. It's, I like them all. They're all like a different chapter. Do you have a favorite time of year to ride here? Mine is late fall. Okay. All right. Getting into October, November, even in like last year, riding first week of December, and it's just phenomenal. You get like heave frost at night, and traction goes through the roof. And One of our favorite stops besides the swimming hole in Oak Ridge here is Stewart's 58. I highly suggest the 58 burger and for some of those healthy eaters, they've got a few wraps in here, but you didn't come here to get healthy food. So let's go get a 58 and a milkshake. Thanks for coming along as we checked out Oak Ridge, Oregon. We will be sure to link Trans Cascadia Adventures and any other information down below. Please reach out with any questions or other destinations you'd like to see us visit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for lots more videos. Thanks and we'll see you on the trails.